Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to Eptech Knowledge. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can show sweet alert message in Laravel and that is actually really simple. So here you can see we have some product over here and what we want is that if, if we click on this button at add to cart, then it will show us a sweet alert message over here. So adding sweet alert in our Laravel project is actually really simple and I have just written down the step for sweet alert over here. You can see there are only five steps uh, to show the sweet alert message in Laravel. So our first step is uh, we need to write this command in our project directory cmd. After this command we need to write, run this command to our cmd and after this all we have to do is that we need to go to our view and then we need to include this in the view we need to make some changes in the controller actually we just need to write this single line at the top of our controller and we need to send the message alert message from the controller and we are done so our first step is we need to write this command to our project directory so for it uh, here we'll just go to our project and we'll open a common prompt over here let me just zoom in and here we are going to write this command composer required real rashet slash sweet alert now real rashet is the one who make this sweet alert that's why it's called real rashet slash sweet alert so just copy this command don't worry i'll also give the command in the first comment so that you can just copy it out from there so we just paste it over here and we'll press enter and it will take around like 30 seconds to one minute to install and here you can see our package is installed sweet alert package so after this on after this command we have another command which is php artisan sweet alert publish so it will create some folder in our project for sweet alert so just copy this command php artisan sweet alert clone publish and we'll paste it over here and we'll press enter and here you can see it is saying copying directory here you can see resource views vendor slash sweet alert so there is a uh, new folder called vendor and inside that folder we have sweet alert folder in the views and also in the public folder you will be able to see a vendor folder and inside that vendor folder you will see a sweet alert folder so right now if i go to my code and if i go to my uh, hair you can see that in the public folder it created a vendor folder so if i go to my public folder and inside public here you can see a vendor folder over here and inside vendor here you can see sweet alert and just like that you will also see a vendor folder in the views as well and in the vendor folder we have the sweet alert folder so right now if you go to our resource then views and inside views here you can see we have a new folder called vendor and inside that, that vendor folder we have sweet alert folder here so and here you can see this mail is actually from my pbs or just ignore this mail here you can see sweet alert just just make sure that you have the vendor and the sweet alert folder in your project so after this what we have to do is that we need to include this in the view where we want to show the sweet alert message so uh, here let me just go to my browser so when we click on this add to cart button then we want to see a message pop up that the product added is successful so uh, first of all we need to go to this view and we need to add this line to the at the uh, top of our body which is at the end of include sweet alert alert so let me just go to my port then we'll go to views then home and inside home we have user page.blade.php and this user page.blade.php is actually this total view over here you can see you can see the product over here in the user page.blade.php we also included the product so what we'll do is that at the top of our body we will include this at the end of include sweet alert alert so we'll have the access to uh, this sweet alert alert okay so after this uh, only one thing is left and that is we need to add this line at the top of our controller which is use uh, real rashet backslash sweet alert backslash facet backslash alert so let me just copy it and here we are returning this user page dot blade dot psp from our home controller so let me just go to my app then http then controller and then home controller and here uh, at the top of our controller we are going to add the add this on use real rashet backslash sweet alert backslash packet backslash alert so the basic setup is done our 
four step is done and we only have the on step left that is send the message from the controller uh from, from the controller function actually from a specific function so here uh, you can see that we are we want to add the product from here when we click on the add to cart so we want to go to this function so i'll just go to that function here if i just go down let me just go down and here you can see add cart so from this function at underscore cart we are actually adding those product to our cart so what we'll do is that uh, here let me just go down and here you can see we are storing the data over here cart save and after that we are returning back to the view so just in between them we are going to say over here alert double clone and let's say here success then we'll give two first bracket to single quotation and let's say over here product added successfully then we'll give another comma another single quotation and uh, let's say here we have added product to the cart and that's all in just in it with a semicolon and that is all in order to show the alert message in sweet alert so right now if we just refresh here and if i just click on this add to cart here you can see you can see that product added successfully we have added product to the cart which is uh, the first one is product added successfully the bigger one the bigger one and we have added product to the cart it is uh, this one now there is a few more design like uh, let's say here earning earning let's save it let's refresh then you will see a different design over here here you can see a different design there is also something called info then let's refresh then let's add and here you can see this is a little a little different than before and the message get automatically close after a few seconds like three or four seconds so yeah this is how we can show sweet alert message in laravel now those messages are coming from the controller and uh, let's say if you want to like uh, delete some data and uh, before deleting you want to have a confirmation alert over here at the top now uh, let me just go to my cart and here you can see remove product and i want to remove the product and when i click on this remove product i want to see a confirmation message and showing confirmation message is actually a little different because uh, before we sending the data to the controller we are checking that we surely want to delete this data or not on the same page before we send those data to the controller so this is actually really a, a, a little different for confirmation delete so for it let me just go to my cart page so we'll go to our uh, resource hues home then showcart.blade.php and here let me just go down and here you can see this is our remove product part and we have on click uh, are you sure to remove this this is just a simple javascript confirmation if i click over here it will pop up like this are you sure to remove this product we obviously don't on this so uh, we'll just remove this on click return confirm and instead of that we'll say here on click on click equal to to double quotation and inside it we are going to say confirm confirmation to first bracket and inside it we'll say let's event we need to say event you can uh, name this anything you want but you need to say over here event now this is for deleting a product so on click confirmation event and right now for confirmation message uh, what we have to do is that we need to add the sweet alert cdn at the head section and uh, here you can see that uh, we can add this include sweet alert alert in the show card but the thing is uh, it will not work in order to the sweet alert to work for confirmation you need to add the sweet alert cdn link at the top of your view head so for it we'll just search for our here sweet alert cdn and just go on this link uh, cdn jts uh, something dot com and you'll see this on just copy this over here if i just if i just click on it here you can see copy it so we'll just paste it in the showcard.blade.php in the head section okay so we have added the sweet alert cdn and 
we have a right write this on click confirmation event so right now we need to write a function in the skip for this confirmation event so let me just go down and here we'll write a skip for it and i have already write down the skip code for confirmation delete uh, in my notepad so here you can see i have a skip code over here i'll just copy it and i'll paste it over here and don't worry i'm going to explain everything over here so uh, here we are calling this function confirmation event so and here in the script here you can see function event it means if someone click on uh, this button it will call to this function confirmation event and we and here you can see ev uh, we are just uh, we are just here uh, instead of event we are just say over here ev just a short term and we are saying over here ev dot prevent default it means at the beginning we are stopping uh, this whenever we are click on clicking on this button we are stopping the backend port uh, to stop execute okay so at the beginning there nothing will happen so then we are declaring a variable var url to redirect equal to ev dot current target get attribute href so uh in this var url redirect variable we are getting the href uh, href is uh, let me just show you okay uh, href is this one we are getting the href in this variable then we are saying over here con console log, log this on then here we are giving a sweet alert message that are you sure to cancel this product uh, then this will be the title then we are showing a text you will not be able to revert this then you can see icon warning instead of warning you can say like success or info anything then we have button true then danger mode true and here you can see dot then will cancel now this is just a variable you can declare it anything you want uh, we'll just say over here will cancel if the cancel is true then uh, then we are saying over here window.location.hf url redirect it means we are letting our browser to execute the cancelling or if this condition is not true then uh, we are will go to the else condition i haven't write the else condition if you want you can write the else condition and uh, you can just show another sweet alert message in the else condition as well but i don't think that's necessary if you want you can do it you just all you have to do is just copy it paste it here and edit the text over here but i'll just remove this yes condition so right now if i just save it then let's just refresh here and if i just click over here remove product here you can see it is showing us a message this is the warning sign are you sure to cancel this product you will not be able to revert this which is this one and don't worry i'll also give the skip code in the first comment so that you can just copy it out because i'll i also copied it out myself that's why and if i click cancel nothing will happen but if i click ok it will delete the product i also added the sweet alert message over here which i sent it from the controller so yeah this is all about this tutorial and i hope you understand how can you, how we can use sweet alert in laravel and if you have any question or you, any confusion you can let me know in the comment section or i'll also give my uh, mail and uh, facebook facebook link in the descriptions uh, if you face any critical problem you can message me there and uh, i will actually really appreciate if you subscribe to my channel so uh, thank you very much for watching stay tuned and stay healthy